Hello everybody, and today we're going to be looking at persistent objects. So first of all, the button for persistent objects is right here. But what exactly is a persistent object? Well, to explain, I will play this little game I made a while ago. So what I can do is I can collect these blocks, and every single time I go up a level, you'll see that I start right back in the middle. So what's going on is I'm switching rooms every single time I go up a level and that room has a new object for the main square that I play as and then when I die I have to start over but we have the we have this as the main character but what if we want this object to be in the same spot when you go up a level so it starts out where you ended the last level now we could do some system where we have variables that keep track of the x and y and then when you go to the new level the new square will go will instantly jump to those x and y coordinates but that's kind of a bit of work it might just be easier to turn this square into a persistent object so I have this square on every single level but what persistent means is it will go from room to room so when the room changes this object will not change so that means I need to get rid of the square in every single one of these levels if I'm going to have the first one be persistent because it'll exist forever I'll, or until you use instance destroy at least that is so I'll delete all of these and then you will see that when I go up levels I start at the right spot now let's see this so I still have the square but when I go up a level it starts where it just ended. Now, in this game, it seems like it doesn't matter, but once you've got a huge game where you have an important character in your game, or you have who knows, and even when the game ends and it restarts, it goes back to the spot, because I did not use the function game reset or game restart, I'm not sure what that is, but either way, if you use that, this object will disappear. So you can still use instance destroy on this object and everything like that, but the main purpose of this is that you can still have this object have all the information you need. So any variable inside here will stay exactly as it is when you go from level to level. It won't get reset. This create event will not be run every single time you go up a level, which is really nice because sometimes you need to keep track of, the, of a character's uh, health or whatever and instead of storing all of that in some variables or something some global variables and then taking those variables in you can just have the object be persistent also you can have rooms be per persistent and other things but it's easier to just focus on objects being persistent because you can basically do everything you need just with objects being persistent thank you for watching